Welcome to today's 3D print tech tip time. I want to show you guys a tip for working around problem models. I'm sorry about the printer noise. I have one printer going. I was unable to move the S4 because the outlet that I need to move it to is sketchy. So I'm going to let this print finish and then I have to replace that outlet in there before I can move the printer in there. It's a higher power printer than most, so I don't want to plug it into a sketchy outlet. But it's not too bad, I hope. Um, now, tall printing model. You want to print something tall, but you run into a problem where the model wants to move around on you. There's a way around that. You stabilize the model. Now, there's multiple things you can use to do that. For example, you have straws. If you get the ones with the flexi end, make sure you cut that flexi bit off. You have bamboo skewers and if you can't find bamboo skewers because it's off season or something like that you also have these long matches which are basically 11 inch long sticks you just break the match head off or these are a little too thick to break it off <laughs> you cut the match head off and then you have yourself a nice little 10 and a half 11 inch stick and your hot glue gun now you have to slow the printer down because you're going to do this while it's printing okay so the first thing you're going to do is figure out what length you need so I had a problem here with Joel, the Joel bot, you know, wiggling around. You can see this thing, he wants to move around pretty good. You, know, you can see it, it vibrates pretty nicely. So I think the best place to reinforce him is probably right on his torso here, right below his um, feet. Okay, so get the stick the right length you want down to your print bed. You can't see that too well. There we go. So down to your print bed here, front and back, because the y-axis moves front and back and you lay him against the model like this. So now you know approximately where he's going to go. So you say, you take your glue gun, and you put a little hot glue right here at the base, and you put a little hot glue right on the model itself, and you just drop a stick in place. That's it. Let go. You don't have to push it in. You don't have to hold it. When that hot glue dries, it'll hold just fine. But now he is, as you can see, a lot more rigid once that hot glue dries. Um, he won't bounce around nearly as much. Uh, on a model like this, I would probably end up using two front and two back. So cut the little stringy part off the straw, figure out where it's gonna go. So this one's gonna go right about his knee. So drop a little more glue here, a little more glue here, and drop a straw in place. Insert it into the glue here, into the glue here, let it go. That's it. You've now added some level of rigidity to the model. So as this bed moves back and forth now, the model will have something holding it in place, something to dampen those vibrations and keep this from, you can see it already, it's jiggling a lot less than it was before. Before you could physically see him jiggle back and forth. Now he doesn't jiggle at all, no matter how hard I tap him. Obviously you don't want to tap him hard enough to ruin the print, but I'm just, this is not printing, I'm giving you an example. But that's what I would do. Uh, now the tricky part is doing the back I might do one in the back. You know, just take one and put it back here just to add a little bit of rigidity so that he doesn't move in either direction. So to, oh, you always want it in compression, basically. You want it to try to compress, not pull, because it might eventually pull the glue apart. But as you can see, that's it. Simple as that. Now, when the model's done, of course, you have to take it off. So you're going to want to test this first to make sure this hot glue doesn't damage your PLA, doesn't damage whatever you're using to print him with, and I already tested this on the Zyro Marble, and he, it appeared to come off just fine. If in doubt, make sure you put it on underside surface, so that you can get all the goop off without damaging your model. And obviously, make sure you can remove it from a corner of your print bed before you go doing this. So test it on something first. On Print Z, it removes cleanly. Um, I imagine BuildTac will remove cleanly. PEI should remove cleanly. Glass, it should remove cleanly. Tape, it doesn't matter. You're going to replace the tape. But if you're using some oddball filament, um, make sure that the, the glue will actually release. And if you're printing at 100C, you might have trouble getting the hot glue to actually cool. I'm not sure what temperature this melts at, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's over 100C, but it's probably close enough to be soft at 100C, but for PLA temperatures, you'll be fine. And that is a way for you to add a level of rigidity to your models so that you don't lose your prints when they're very long, very large prints. Hope you guys enjoy that.